Would you let your pride get to you? Would you say, nah, man, this is, this is messed up what they doing me. My fans can't see this. Or would you stick it out? Would you ride it out and say, you know what? I know God got my back. I'm going to make it. I'm going to survive. Would you do that? Tell me what you would do. <clears throat> because, you know, weeping. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy will come in the morning. And so you got to be a believer to know these different things. You got to read the word. You got to have a personal relationship with Christ. You got to, it's, it's good to go to church and go to the right church. I'm not saying there's one church in the world that's the right church, but there's many places where you can get the word and you can learn how to be a better person, be a good steward over your own life. So, like I said, I've witnessed many people not stick it out. Me and my wife, we own, we, we own one of the, the top media channels out there. Welcome to Cali. And and on Welcome to Cali, we interview many of the top celebrities in the world. We interviewed them on the red carpet, did the BET Awards, did the VMAs, AMAs, did all of these award shows and all this stuff. And, you know, a lot of people loved it. Everything they saw, they loved the content. They thought that that's just who, who I was. But then it was a point in time when me and my wife stopped doing that. And they're like, oh, man, why they stop doing that? We love this kind of content. Um, no, we stopped it because we realized that the audience wanted to watch us. We realized the stars that we were. We realized that the people wanted to get more of a taste of what AP and Diva was about. So... Then we start bringing you up, bringing you up into our family, and we did that way before a lot of people were doing that. So we did that, and at the same time, as we we're doing that, we ran, we we're running our own media network, and the media network was was becoming successful. You know, I was, I had a publicist at one point, and that publicist barely did anything for me. I said, "This is what a publicist does." I'm paying this publicist for this. I said, you know what? <sighs> Since I made an investment in this publicist, let me make an investment into my own self. I'm going to start doing publicity. I'm going to handle public relations. So I start handling public relations for different talent. And the talent that I represented, I'm talking about successful. I'm talking about going from just barely being known or being known and and being on the on on the on the down a downside a decline to now you doing great all over again you doing better than ever and through the internet that's what I've done that's what my company welcome to media has been able to do for our clients anyone that believed in me believed in my company Great things have, have happened for them. <laughs> and that's what I've been about, is getting this internet money. All right? So, I'm getting a good walk, by the way. You see this? I've been walking this whole time. This is a great exercise. It's great for my mind, and it's great for my body at the same time. I'm loving this. How, how y'all... How y'all liking it? If, if you want me to do more videos like this, just leave your leave your comments below. Put a thumbs up. Tell me you want more videos like this. Or do you want me to make live videos like this? Like, should I live stream when I do this? You tell me. All right? So, I mean, I can say I'm giving y'all too much today, but 
I got so much to give. I can keep going. I can keep going and going and going. I've done so many things. And like I said, I was talking about my company. We had one of the top YouTube channels out there. And this was back in 2012. And we were doing so, so good. Everywhere me and my wife would go, whether we was in L.A., New York, wherever, people would stop us. We go to Wingstop, they want to give us free food. We go to Fox Hills Mall, people stopping us there. Oh man, I watch all y'all videos. And it was nothing but love. But YouTube decided to take that channel down. Matter of fact, we had just moved into our new house too. Just moved into our new house. And now our top channel is taken down. You run a YouTube network and your top channel is taken down. What type of respect is that? What type of impression is that setting for the rest of your staff? The people that trust in you. So, rather than quit, you think we started a new channel? Not for Welcome to Cali, but what we did was we invested more time into our network and into our son's channel. It's j -Fung. And he's had his ups and downs, even with his channel. And, you know, it's good to see the channel. What is that, like 300 million views and almost 400,000 subscribers? I mean, we feel like it should have 4 million subscribers, if not more. More. But, you know, there's always somebody at YouTube who has their hands on our channel and it trying to affect our growth but like I said I love a challenge and so does my wife two geniuses and two children of God so we ain't going nowhere we ain't going nowhere and The day will come where God's people are the head and not the tail. So all I'm saying is you guys keep us keep us in your prayer, prayers. And if you hating, like, don't hate on me. Join the team. Get down now, because it's already done. God already said it was going to happen. And it's happening. All right. So join us. But like I said, you see the success of our channel now. What if we would, would have quit? That's all I want to say to you. What if we had quit? Like many others have. Where would we, where would we be right now? What will we be doing? Stop quitting. Believe in yourself. Have faith that you can do all things. That you can do all things through Christ. All right? Keep hope alive. That's my message for you guys. Keep the hope alive. Keep the faith. Believe in yourself. Believe that he will supply all your needs and believe that you have the skill and ability to succeed in whatever it is that you want to succeed in. You can do it. You can do it. All right. So. As you guys know. The contest keep going. I'm a given person. That's just the way I was brought up. That's just that's just what's inside of me is to give. My father was he's a giver. My mother's a giver. My brothers, they both give. We just are giving people. So I got PS4s, got Xbox Ones, I got Note 9s. All y'all gotta do 
You you just got to do simple stuff. Help us grow. Help our channels grow. Help our companies grow. When I tell y'all to go on, welcome the kids and subscribe to us there, do it. You want to win something that costs hundreds of dollars and you can't do the smallest thing? Come on now. I'm not giving that to you. We've given done many giveaways. I've sent out Nintendo Switches to kids. I've sent out <laughs> Xbox to kids. I've taken taken kids on shopping sprees, families uh, on family vacations. Like I'll do it. All I want is to find those people that believe in me. And you show your, that you believe in me by something small. Support. Oh, I support. I believe what you're doing is going to be successful. I'm going to join it. That goes a long way. It goes a really long way with me. I don't never forget it. You could, you could ask people that have worked for me and with me in the past. Nobody works for me. We work together. People that have worked with me. If they need something, I'm there. I'll be there for you because I know you believed in me. I know the greatness inside of me and for other people to see it as well. Oh yeah, I gotta show show love back. I gotta show some love back to them. For them believing in me. So all I ask of you is small things. Join the movement. Join the sewing lovers. Join AP One in a Billion. Join It's J Fun. Join Miracle Baby Josiah. Join the Welcome To Network. Join our websites. All right, you show that love, and we'll show it back to you. And continue to keep giving you guys hot content, original music, original beats, original everything. We'll continue to keep giving it to you. There's so much I didn't touch on. I was just thinking about my son's channel. It's Jay Funk thinking about some of his fans. Remember, we were going to sign. Well, we, we were interested in signing one of J Funk's fans. Kid, one of his subscribers, they would leave a lot of comments on his videos. This was like, what was this? 2015, we were going to sign this channel. It's called Ryan's Toys Review. So, he's leaving, his mom's leaving all these comments on J Funk's videos. And we'll be like, let's reach out to them. I think they had about a thousand subscribers at the time. But I could see that the channel would be successful that they would know what they were doing and we didn't get into any negotiations or anything like that with signing with them but you know I saw their channel start to grow and grow and grow and they they love Jay Funk's videos his Thomas videos and they just love Jay Funk his little boy Ryan loved Jay Funk so he would copy a lot of Jay Funk's content I mean, that's what goes on on YouTube a lot. A lot of copying. A lot of people copy stuff that they like. So, they're copying his videos. I take my son to the car wash. They take their son to the car wash. Jay Funk opens the train. He opens the train. But for some reason, like, when, like, let's, like Michael Jackson fan. When Michael Jackson does the moonwalk, like, everyone watches that, right? So how does the person that copy you, somebody that covers what you do, how do they get 800,000 times <laughs> more uh, attention than you do? That's what, what I want to ask. I want to I ask you guys that question. 
Why did why does that happen? On the tube. What does that mean? What is that saying? What type of what is that? And I like the kids' content, but don't put my son in the back seat like that. Don't do stuff like that. Be fair. You're not being fair. And like I said, I run platforms, so I know how the whole administration panel, the admin panel goes, control panel and all that. I know how that runs. You blacklisting our content. You're moving our content around. It's not an algorithm. It's you. You're moving it around. You're putting this person in the place to succeed. You're putting this person where he's the, the suggested video after my viral video. Like, come on. That kind of stuff is crazy. Just be fair. How about that? Be fair. If we go on the basketball court right now and we play one-on-one, -on -one, isn't that fair? If this, the first one to 10 wins, it's my skills versus your skills. And whoever wins is the winner. There's no altering the rules. There's no, it's like me playing against my son. Okay, we two grown men, but you got to score one point. I got to score 20 points to win. I, I didn't go to the NBA. So it's just two men playing against each other. Nothing more than fair than that. I, if I invested a lot of my time into honing my skills in, in this sport and you didn't, whose fault is that? So if we come out come up with all of these ideas for these viral videos and then you start letting the, and then the video is going viral means it just keeps going up and up and up then all of a sudden you go from getting 50,000 views 100,000 views in a day to 10 views in a day on the same video and then somebody some another kid makes this makes the same video that you made he reduplicates your video and he gets millions of views doing it is that fair to you it's not fair <laughs> equality I believe we were all created equal it's just about what we do with the talent with with the skills with the gifts that God gave us so any platform that we create we will be fair okay if your kids are on welcome the kids trust me their videos are going to get views more views than they're getting on other platforms because we're not going to hold the views back we're not going to i'm going to make sure that staff at our at our company that there's nobody that is evil and malicious and dislikes a person because of the color of their skin because of their views or because of uh, they have more than than the next person it's hard to, to micromanage a company but I think micromanagement is the key to success you can think of some companies like like Chick-fil-A for instance I bring them up because when you go in there my niece just brought Chick-fil-A up to me the other day. She's like, they're so nice. So she lives in in New Jersey and in Atlanta, Georgia. So if they're nice to Chick-fil-A over there and they're nice in Chick-fil-A in California, what does that mean? Whoever's the owner of that company is micromanagement to the point where they make sure that their vision is being brought to pass, that their that they are, uh, that the staff even has their their aura, the same type of swag that the owner has. So that's what I'm looking for at my company. People with the type of swag that I got. People with the type of swag that my wife, Dangerous Diva, has. All right. 
and together we can be successful and make great things happen and share great content with the rest of the world. Okay? So, I've been walking for almost an hour. My body must feel good. Y'all leave a comment below. Leave comments below and tell me how often do you want me to do stuff like this? Because I'll do it. I'm not afraid to work out to give to the people. I give to the people. How much longer do y'all want me to go? I've been holding this for an hour too. Think about that on my body. Sheesh. That's a lot. But I'm built for it. Built for this. So, like I said, I got many stories to share with you guys. I love you. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you later. A-P. One in a billion. And I'm out.